Um, so, Cam, will you confirm that that is visible? Looks good, man. Okay. All right. So, um, uh, thank you, uh, attendees, for coming. Um, I'm not going to talk today about uh, the benefits, you know, strictly about the benefits of cloud computing in general. I'm going to talk more specifically about the Extupo cloud experience, kind of how we got there and uh, what it can do for Extupo customers um, versus the alternatives. So uh, without further ado, I will get started. All right, so um, first of all, a little bit about Extupo um, and, and about sort of what, what we mean by the cloud. Um, the Extupo has a number of, well, so how did, how did Extupo even get to the cloud is kind of the first thing I want to talk about. It with the, we have at Extupo, uh, our core competency is in uh, ERP software. We, we develop software to help businesses grow. We uh, focus on making software that, uh, you know, with a method that's transparent. Um, we, we use open source code. We, uh, we encourage community participation in that code. Uh, the, the product itself is very flexible and powerful. Um, and we really depend on the community to, um, to assist us with innovation and to drive and, and, and help us drive innovation. So those are some of the advantages of Extupo itself, um, the ERP software that we create. Um, we also have recently been uh, developing a new architecture for the software, um, a mobile web or web-based architecture that allows us to roll out a new interface, a web-based interface. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that later on in the, in the uh, presentation about what the web architecture and the new Extup server is all about. But, um, you know, and the, and the result of all that is that we achieve a low cost. Uh, so we, we focus on those things. And, um, you know, and, and the deployment infrastructure uh, has always been sort of up to the customer for us. We, uh, we haven't, um, until recently, been really focused on, uh, on, on where people people are going to put this software. And uh, in the meantime, other companies have been making a lot of noise about the cloud, uh, about you know, building these uh, externally managed uh, hosting infrastructure so that uh, companies can, can outsource the, the, complica the complications and the costs of running their own internal IT infrastructure, all the hardware that's associated with hosting a, compli a complex and sophisticated enterprise application. Uh, you know, used to, in general, Extupo has always deployed uh, on site. So you know, we would um, work with the IT department at, at our customer site. They would install the software on a on a server uh, on site, manage that server, manage all the network connections uh, of that server locally and externally, and that could be cumbersome at times. Um, but like I said, in the meantime, uh, there's been all this focus in the in the industry in the internet and enterprise industry on the cloud and building out external sites that can manage this. And one of the leaders in that area is certainly Amazon. Um, Amazon has uh, built out a number of products under the um, on, under the label of Amazon Web Services, where they uh, they have a distributed infrastructure for managing for hosting. Uh, enterprise applications or any kind of application. And so we have been investigating that and we have decided that, uh, that this is a really great solution. It's, uh, it, it's can, it can resolve a whole lot of uh, deployment issues. It can, it can be more reliable. It's fast and easy to administer. Uh, and it provides us as, as software providers with uh, a reliable and well understood environment for deploying into. When we deploy into um, a customer site, there there are lots of unknowns. We don't know if that customer, you know, what that customer's got going on, what kind of server they have, what uh, what router they're running, what the speed of their ISP is to the to the building. All of these things can be factors, and they can, you know, potentially complicate a, a rollout uh, on site. So it's um, there's some great advantages to uh, to a, an Amazon uh, infrastructure for for deployment. And, and Amazon's um, EC2 infrastructure is, is low cost as well. So what we've found is that, uh, you know, as we've been doing these deployments on site and, and as we started to do deployments into Amazon EC2 cloud, that uh, 
it, it just works really well. Um, you know, we, it, it turned out to be a great fit for us. We, we didn't actually start planning that we were going to be a cloud-oriented company. That's that we're, cloud has, has always been sort of over there for us. But then within the last year or so, we have found that the, that the whole cloud experience has really matured to the point where it makes a lot of sense for anybody considering a, an ERP implementation to, to strongly consider the cloud. And you know, our own experience with doing deployments both on-site and to customers uh, hosted in the cloud is that the, it, the cloud is a really great fit for, for our software. Um, so there's some question here about what do we sort of mean by the cloud. Uh, the, the cloud can mean different things to different people. It, there's virtual private clouds and public clouds and you know all kinds of different clouds. And so uh, I wanted to clarify specifically what we mean by the cloud and when we deploy a, uh, somebody into the cloud, what are we doing? Uh, first of all, what is what is it not? Um, we, we're not offering our software as a service in the cloud. It's not like we have a single instance of that software on a server and we, 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 multi, and we just uh, spawn off other instances for customers and chart and sort of rent it out uh, rent that way. The, the, and it's not, it's, it's not multi-tenant that way either. So um, we're not strictly software as a service, which is a com sort of a cloud and, uh, type of, of deployment, but that's not what we are doing. What we are doing is we, we rent space on Amazon EC2 servers, and we, we create an entire deployment, a full version of our entire software stack for each customer. Uh, and so what that does is it, it, it creates an environment that's identical to the one that would have been deployed on site. And it means that uh, you can do various things. You can, um, you can create pilot databases on your cloud instance. You can, um, you can add more space to your cloud instance. You can, you can manage it as if it were a, a server on site. It's, it, it behaves in, in many of the same ways that, that an on site server does, but except that it's encased in a, in a safe and reliable environment uh, that, that Xtuple has access to. So we, we can, uh, easily get in there and control it and you know and fix problems and, and take care of issues. Uh, it also means that um, the the deployment in the cloud is portable. So because it, it we we give you the the full set of software and and uh, and and you're you're hosting your database on there, you can you can create an identical environment locally and you can migrate from the cloud to a local server, or from the cloud, from the Amazon cloud to another cloud, or you know whatever novel migration concept you have, we can probably support it. So the, as I'll discuss a little bit later, this um, allows us to do some really cool things like uh, start people in the cloud and then move them somewhere else if, if they want. Uh, so of course there's some benefits uh, to to being in the cloud, um, you get uh, some cost savings, and when you're, um, especially at startup, I mean, if you want to uh, deploy on site, you're going to need to purchase a server, which can run in the thousands of dollars. You will need to have a powerful router. You'll you'll probably want to have a UPS or uninterruptible power supply to uh, make sure your server stays running if the power goes out. So you have all of this hardware that, uh, you know, the upfront cost of it is, is in the thousands of dollars. Uh, and, that, and that's before you even do anything with software. Uh, you, of course, also have labor. Um, so you, if you're going to be supporting your own internal uh, hardware, you're going to want an IT staff or some competent local person who can maintain that for you. There's a lot of sort of arcane knowledge that involved in in administering a, 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 at any kind of server, whether it be a Linux server or Windows or Mac, and and certainly all the network infrastructure associated with it, uh, you're going to have an IT staff. So that that's tens of thousands of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars, depending on how many people you're talking about, and uh, and that can you know all of that can be replaced with uh, with the Amazon Cloud, you, if you, and and, and Xtuple as your administrator. So, 
uh, and, and so on the one hand, you've got all this hardware expense and, and a large amount of uh, IT labor as another expense versus paying a little bit to Extuple and uh, to manage this in, in the cloud for you. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll show you later on in this when we get to the pricing page what specifically that cloud fee is and you can calculate what the cost would be for you. Then of course there's time savings and this is also extremely important. Uh, when you're doing an on-site setup uh, or when we're doing an on-site setup for a customer we, we will often order hardware for them uh, and that can take a couple of days. We will install the software on there uh, and that usually takes a day. We'll have to back up a database, install it, and prepare it. We ship the box to the customer. The customer receives it, plugs it in. We work with them to configure it in their network. That can be really difficult at times because, again, we don't know what we're dealing with when we're talking to a customer with an on-site deployment. There's a huge amount of unknown uh, information in, that, uh, in, in their environment, and so that can sometimes cause suffering. And so that that whole process usually takes at least a week and could possibly take longer. On the other hand, if we're going to set up a customer in the cloud, we have an established and well-known way of doing this. We uh, simply go to Amazon, run our setup routine, and we will have a customer live in the cloud in just a few hours. And so basically, you can be running the same day if you, if you go on the cloud. So that can remove a whole lot of headache and, and get people productive a lot faster. And then also there's a reliability component. Um, the, uh, and, and this is one that I think people don't think about so much. It's, uh, it's sort of easy to forget because it's sort of one of those things where until you, you never know uh, how, you, you never know how good your backup system is until you really need it. And uh, you know, when, when we're doing uh, deployment on site. Um, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of factors related to backing up. When we deploy, when we sell a, an on site appliance uh, and, and install that, it comes with backups that go onto the same box. So, like if you you buy the server, it's creating backups regularly that that are stored on the same box. Um, the, many customers also have it back up to another server on site. Um, but if something were to happen on site, if there was a flood or a fire or who knows what, uh, the, and one or more of the local servers were destroyed, unless that company had uh, also had remote backups set up, then they would have lost all their data. Um, so backing, you know, if you're doing an on-site deployment, backing up remotely is, is important, but very few people get that far, you know, and, and so there's a risk there. Uh, there's also a matter of a recovery plan, so if, even if you are backing up, uh, do you have, are you able to redeploy quickly? You know, if, again, if the server that you're running on goes down, but you have a backup somewhere remote or, or on another local server, do you have a place that you can restore that quickly? Um, and then sort of who's, who's going to do that? Who's paying attention? So. There's all these issues uh, the, of reliability for on-site deployments, and and you know a company with a full IT staff that can handle that, but a lot of people aren't aren't really thinking about that and aren't prepared and could end up caught short if something were to happen. Now in the cloud, uh, this just ha sort of handles itself. Um, we uh, we do backups nightly automatically. Uh, we back them up to a remote location that's not Amazon even. So if, even if an entire Amazon region were to go down, the, uh, we would have a backup of that database at another site. And we would be able to restore that backup anywhere um, into the cloud because it's the cloud and we know how to do that. So the, you know, in most cases, uh, a cloud-based deployment can be restored from a backup taken the previous night uh, on the same day very quickly and be accessible. So it's a, it's a much more reliable platform than, uh, than an on-site one, most likely. Um, so I keep saying the Extuple server, and this is sort of a new term that we're using here at Extuple. Um, 
our all of our previous deployments have been basically a client server model where we have a database server, the Postgres database server, and our desktop client, uh, which you install on on uh, client machines. Um, within j just this year, we've started deploying a, a new architecture. We call it the Xtuple server, and it includes a database, but it also includes a web server and a sort of wrapper around everything. Um, and it includes a REST API and, and a number of other technologies. And so it's, it's a much more robust and capable product than just the Xtuple database server was. Um, we, because this is a little, because it's a, it's a more robust product with more parts, um, we, we generally recommend that it be installed on a dedicated machine. Um, it's native, it, the, the platform that we recommend mostly is uh, Ubuntu Linux um, version 12.04. And so you can, and, and this is what we install onto on the Amazon cloud. When we, when we provision a new instance, we provision it with Ubuntu Linux 12.04. And we uh, and we we install onto that directly. Um, it can, however, also be the Xtuple server can also be installed on a virtual machine, and this is how people might install uh, on site if they already have, say, a powerful Windows server and they don't want to change it over to Ubuntu. They could set up a an Ubuntu virtual machine on Windows and install uh, the Xtuple server there, and they could do the same thing with uh, with Mac. So, uh, and then, like I said, um, when we install the Xtuple server in the cloud for a customer, we're installing it onto an Amazon EC2 instance running Ubuntu. And when we set up an appliance for somebody, that's, uh, that's a server that we will be installing on site for a customer. So there's Xtuple server in the cloud and Xtuple server on the appliance. We are, we are provisioning that appliance, that server, with Ubuntu Linux and then installing a stupid server on it. Uh, so this is our new proposition. Um, start in the cloud and go anywhere. We, are, uh, we, we have really come to believe in the cloud, in the power of the cloud to be a reliable, uh, secure, uh, fast and efficient platform for deploying people. And we're so sure of that that we're willing to uh, give it away for three months. You still pay the software license fee, but we don't charge any cloud fees for the first three months because we really want our customers to experience that the the cloud and uh, and get running quickly. Even if the customer decides that ultimately they want to be on site uh, to install either on an Xtuple appliance server that that they bought from us or on their own server in a VM or on an Ubuntu server. Um, we can migrate from the cloud to that server, but we, even in those cases, we are, are going to strongly recommend that the customer start in the cloud. Uh, that allows us to get, them, get the customer going within a day or two, uh, so it avoids any delay in deployment with ordering software or provisioning machines or doing anything. It, it avoids any uh, network complexity because once again we're um, we we can we control the network and we can uh, quickly provision it. We know how to provision the, the Amazon EC2 uh, servers and networks so that uh, our customers can access it quickly. It gives the customer a chance to test the performance in the cloud. This is a concern for some users, and, and legitimately it it should be a concern. The uh, we have found in most cases that um, well, we have two two interfaces. We have the mobile web interface, which you which means uh, it's a way to access Xtuple through a web browser, and we have our classic desktop client, which is a C plus plus application runs natively on your on your machine if, uh, on the client machine. You can access the Xtuple server in the cloud with either one of those interfaces. We we know that the uh, that the mobile web one is going to behave fine. Um, there have been cases where the desktop client doesn't perform very well, and that can be because the customer is a long distance away from the uh, the cloud uh, server, or because they have a slow ISP connection to their company. There can be various reasons why um, why the desktop does not might not perform well. 
in most cases it does great and you know we use it here we we Extupol uses Extupol in the cloud and we uh, we connect to it with both the mobile web interface and with the desktop interface and and have no problems uh, and that is true for most users so that's one of the things we would like customers to prove themselves in the in the first three months is that you know desktop is good uh, in the cloud and and there's no performance issue if there is one then then there's a good reason to want to move to on-site but in most cases that's not the case there's also a couple of other things about um, deploying in the cloud um, when you deploy on-site we have a minimum license fee of, of five users uh, and but in the cloud you can have a, a minimum of one so really no minimum of user number of users and also our cloud-based customers do get web-based support so you're allowed you get access to our support team through our uh, through our support interface on xtuple.com and uh, that that uh, is not included um, for free for on-site deployments um, and so I wanted to give a few examples of things we've already seen in terms of uh, customers who have interacted with us uh, both on the cloud on the cloud and on site um, and some scenarios that, that we've seen that have worked really well we've had a couple of customers who, who have started in the cloud and gone on site um, decided and eh, the cloud's not for me or known from the beginning that they weren't intending to be on the cloud and so they were deployed into the cloud they stayed there for as long as they needed to in order to get their local server provisioned and ready and then when that was ready, they told us, and we migrated their deployment from the cloud to on-site, and that's not a problem. It, uh, it, it's it's an easy thing to do. The data is portable, and they were up and running on-site with no problem. On the uh, conversely, the same thing. We've had some customers who have been on-site, and they decided for one another reason that you know all those reasons that I was listing earlier about the complexity and cost of doing on-site deployments. You've got an IT staff, you've got to maintain hardware. They just decided that wasn't for them and they heard about this cloud thing and it sounded good to them and so we have migrated existing Extuple customers to the cloud and they are much happier there because they no longer have to do all of the on-site maintenance that they did before. And then we had, we recently had one novel case where uh, a customer, a longtime customer of ours, who was on site uh, wanted to move to the Xtuple appliance. They, they wanted to buy a server from us so that they can upgrade to the Xtuple server software, which, which is the software version that has the database and the web server and the mobile web client and so on. So what we did for them is we took their existing database, moved it into the cloud, upgraded it and moved it into the cloud, provisioned a server for them and sent it to them, and then moved them back from the cloud to on-site to the new server that, that they had purchased. So it, uh, that, that was a case where we sort of temporarily went to the cloud. But, and, and what it really demonstrates is how easy it is to, to, to move a, an Xtuple implementation from on-site to the cloud or to anywhere. And uh, it, it's really one of the things that, that differentiates Xtuple from other ERP and, and cloud ERP competitors who are out there. Uh, a little bit about pricing. Um, we, uh, when you go, when you are in the cloud, you pay a normal um, license fee per user, and then there are some additional fees. This is because we have to pay Amazon to host you there, and we we are doing the administration of the of Amazon and the network and and your software. So, um, basically, it's you're going to pay an additional thirty dollars per user per month. And then there's a couple of base fees as well. So um, we charge $100 a month. Anybody who's on the cloud is going to pay a flat $100 a month, plus their license fees and cloud fees. And then there's an additional service available, which is $150 a month, that entitles you to get uh, upgrades um, of the software. So if you're on the upgrade plan, then every time we release um, an update to Xtuple, we would upgrade your your database as well um, and keep you up to date so there are some there are a few limits on that if you've done a lot of customization to your database um, we have a limit to the number of hours that we will spend uh, to uh, to 
fix those updates or, or change those customizations but, and beyond which we would charge uh, a consulting fee. But for the most part, $150 a month is going to cover your upgrades uh, perpetually. If you want more information, we have this pricing page um, where you can go and put in the number of users you want and select perpetual, annual, or cloud and uh, find out what your costs would be. And again, the, uh, for, for all new deployments, we are offering the cloud service um, without any cloud fees for the first three months. Uh, and that is my whole presentation. Um, there we go. Um, I will jump over here and uh, take questions. Where's my mouse? There we go. Um, I see Janet is on here, so I'm going to just add, take Janet um, off mute. And uh, Janet, thank you for hanging in there. <laughs> do you have any? Um, do you have any questions? Oh, okay. Hey, ABC, how are you? I'm good. So it was like a private demo. <laughs> <laughs> now I Janet, you should feel I mean, very special. I, I'm, I've been aware of the cloud, and I I've <laughs> have been worked. I really haven't worked worked in it. I mean, you know, I came from Sage, so you Ooh. know, I've um, that's that's been my universe. But I've I've been excited about this, and uh, I'm glad to know more about it and what we're doing. So it's just another thing that I can. Um, offer clients when I talk to them because you're right because I remember when we did um, we were adding a CRM system and we had to buy a completely whole new server and it had to be very robust because we had 10 different locations that were going to be connecting to it and you were talking at least like a $40,000 server yeah. to handle that kind of stuff in addition to everything else that was going on so um, I, I, I mean, I'm excited about this. I mean, I, I just, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to soak up all the knowledge I can from you guys, you know, mm -hmm. while I'm uh, getting up and running. So, um, anything well, it's I really, can learn. It's been, it's been really interesting for us in the last, um, you know, two months or so. We've, um, we've, we've had a lot of good points to compare because we've done a bunch of uh, appliance deployments and a bunch of cloud deployments, and for various reasons, the, the appliance deployments. Um, you know, some customers are really insistent that they've got to own the, the, the hardware and they need to house it on site, and we're, we totally support that. But um, they do take longer. And, uh, you know, we can, they can take a couple of weeks to get an appliance ordered, deployed, and, and successfully connected to the network so that everybody there can work on it. And then the cloud guys, we get a cloud customer, and they're up and running, you know, the same day or the next day. And so, you know, just cr it's an interesting um, – like I said, point of comparison between the two, how much quicker it is. So we, for a lot of reasons, for our own sanity and for and for the customer's benefit, we are encouraging people to just just try the cloud. No, and I mean, and it's great, but I, I from a from an employee IT perspective, because I always have to play devil's advocate when I'm looking at these things. You know, they're looking about job security and. You know, they're going to play the thing like, well, you don't know how really secure it is, blah, blah, blah. You know, they'll, they'll put fear in people that really don't understand the technology to help them keep it on site. But I think it's great just from being on both sides of the fence because I know how expensive it is and to maintain. And, you know, technology changes all the time. So, you know, what's great today is obsolete six months from now. So right, right. I, uh, it's... it's um, I, I am curious about the, um, you know, the Amazon. I mean, you know, is it is it very very secure? Like, you know, like you don't have to worry about somebody going in there and like stealing information. You know, like you've seen with Target and all those other people where people are going in there and stealing, you know, information. I mean, is it? I mean, do you guys feel 100% secure that it's, you know? Yeah. Well, totally there's no there, there's no um, there's no way that it can be compromised through us. Um, you know the, what, you know, security is is yes, it's very secure. We are we are totally confident about it. And the, I'm just thinking you know, that the, there's always like social hacking. You know, there's if somebody were to to call somebody at a company and uh, you know somehow finagle their password, they could get in. But that would be the same. That would also be true if it was on site. So, you know, there's no um, there's no particular additional vulnerability to being in the cloud. 
Mm -hmm. um, and and you know we're one of the things that we've introduced this year. You know when I was referring to this thing as the Xtuple server. In the past, we've um, the Xtuple product was really uh, just a Postgres database and and a client. And security was pretty much up to the customer um, to maintain. Uh, and you know some customers would have good security practices, and others would have mediocre ones. But um, right. But the, with the with the Xtuple server, we have put some uh, some stronger security controls in place across the board. So um, all of all of our new deployments require uh, an SSL certificate. For example, so it's all SSL encrypted between the server and the client, um, and uh, and and you know they're all locked down um, on the Linux end, you know, with with highly um, uh, with high security passwords, and you know it's it's just a much more secure environment than it ever could have been when it was Postgres only. So that, that's that's an improvement as well. Yeah, and and that's I mean that's. I guess from a you know a customer point of view, outside of what an IT person might tell them, you know to and that's the you know surety that they're going to probably need the most to you know let go of a physical server box being you know in a very cold room um, where they can touch it and see it versus it being you know somewhere where they can't. But in the long run, it's better for them. You know the cost is cheaper and you know they it's just better all the way around. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna. Um, I see Joe Hill is back, so I'm gonna unmute Joe. Um, Joe uh, you're, you're unmuted. Um, no, do you have any questions? Uh, I don't have any questions. Actually, uh, okay. I've been I've been listening on the phone, and it sounds like a great new product. So, great. Um, are you a current customer, or are you uh, just looking around, or Postbooks user? Actually, uh, I was invited by Wally. Oh, okay. See some some of the new things you guys are doing. Great. Well, thank you for listening. Thank you. Okay. So, any other questions from anyone? I think that wraps it up, uh, BC. Great. All right. Well, thank you all for coming. Um, and uh, I believe we will be posting a um, copy of this webinar um, on our on our events page. So um, tell your friends. And we look forward to seeing you at the next one. Tell your Have friends and share it. Thanks, guys. Thanks.